Okay, so um, I'm actually doing this video for those of us who want to set up their Google Authenticator account on BitGate. So um, first, I have to go to my BitGate account. Okay, so this is my BitGate account. Yeah. So I'll click on, I'll click on this menu option here. I'll click on it. So the next step, see this arrow here. I'll click on it. So the next step, you can see profile, you can see security, you can see notification. So, but if you're trying to, if you just signed up and then you're trying to verify your account. So let me just, um, so you're trying to verify your account. So this is where you actually verify your account. So you click on identity verification here. So they will now, they will now show you that whether you're verified or not. So this is it. But then we're looking for a Google Authenticator here. So I'll click on security. So I clicked on security. You can see my security level is high. So you can see pass key, Google Authenticator, email, pass, mobile number, I've verified that. So if you haven't verified uh, your mobile number, you need to also verify it. So you tap on it and verify. You tap your email. You tap your... So if you haven't verified your mobile number, you have to verify it. So you tap your mobile number here to verify. You also tap your email to verify. So if you want to add uh, biometric authentication, you also do that. But since what we're looking for is Google Authenticator, so you click on this Google Authenticator option here. So because I've already... Mine is already binded. Normally, if, you, if, you're, if you're just doing it for the first time, you will see scan QR code, then you will see, um, you will see, uh, you have to copy, uh, there will be a setup key on display here for you to copy. So once you copy that setup key, next thing for you to do is you go back to your Google, it's assumed that you've already downloaded Google Authenticator from Google, Google Play Store. So the next thing for you to do now, after you have copied the setup key that, that is supposed to display here, then you go back to your Authenticator app. Let me go, let me search for my Authenticator app. So you search for your Authenticator app and then you tap and then I open it, sorry. So I open it. So now I've opened it. These are some of the accounts that, that, that I have actually connected to my Google Authenticator. You can see that my BitGate is already connected here. So now, because I'm, because I'm, for the purpose of those who haven't done this, so when you come here, after you've copied your um, the key code from BitGate, so when you come here, you so you click on this plus sign here. So when you click on this, you can see these two options, scan a QR code, enter a setup email. So when you, in, you, what you're going to click here is enter a setup key. So when you click that, you can see code name, you can see your key, time based of course. So you click this code name, you're supposed to enter a name that when you, when next you come back to this authenticator, it will actually, you will remember that, okay, this particular one is for BitGate exchange account. So you can just type BitGate exchange or anything that will make you remember that this particular one is for BitGate. So here, where you have your key. Remember the key you the key you copied from BitGate, you paste it here. So you paste it in this key option here, and then you click on add. You understand? You click on add. So after you have clicked on add, everything will be set up. So you can now be seeing just like it will now appear like this one here. It will now appear like this one here, BitGate with the code. So next time when you want to so you go so next time now when maybe when you want to withdraw or when you want to complete a P2P trade and then they ask you for your Google authenticator, you will just come back to this your authenticator app, then you search for where you have BitGate and then you copy the code beneath it. When you copy the code, you go back to your um, BitGate account and paste that code. Make sure that you actually follow because you can actually see that while we, while we are talking here, these codes, they are changing like every every minute or less than a minute, they are changing. So you need to be very fast when you are copying it. So this is it for this is it for Google Authenticator. I hope you understand how to do it now. So for those of us, for those who are actually looking for how to add a um, payment method, to their um to in their to their bitgate account so to add payment method payment uh, method for your bitgate account so this is what you would do so you click the menu option here this thing up so you click on it then you scroll down search for p2p this is p2p here so you tap on it so when you tap on it below here you can see profile here so you tap on this profile down here so when you tap on the profile down here you see payment method so in this payment method so in this payment method you click on here you click payment method so when you click, you can see that i've already added my own payment method here so for you since you've now added you you click on add look at add below so you click it so when you click it you now be started to add your bank details and all that so when you add it that's it you're done so that is it for authenticator and um, adding the uh, bank details to your account and uh, also how to verify your email phone number and um, kyc so that's it thank you